All week, WCCO is partnering with XL Energy's Day of Service. Doing good in the Twin Cities is a little more complicated these days. The need for access to free food is high, but the number of volunteers is low. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how the food group is taking a different spin on giving away food and how they could really use some extra help. It starts in the ground, then ends up on store shelves, but somewhere in between, vegetables and fruit get okay. expensive. It's really challenging. Um, for our clients to buy fresh produce, they don't have the money that they need to buy it. Joyce works as one of the busy food providing volunteers. She understands the need for food from both sides. When I was younger with my kids, it was always a great need. So she's trying to make sure people need less, which amidst a pandemic can be tricky. The need is at historic highs, and I think there's still huge question marks with unemployment benefits going down, you know, with eviction moratoriums ending. Sophia is leading a team at the food group in New Hope. This unique food supplier emphasizes quality over quantity. Everyone deserves access to the best foods, not just food, right, but, but the best, the most appropriate for their family and their culture, and top quality. And when they talk about culturally specific foods, things like this, this flour for the Latinx community, this rice for the indigenous community, and this flour for the African community. They also emphasize produce, like this, this, and this. The food group distributes fresh organic foods to 200 plus metro food shelves. They fund an affordable grocer and they have their own farm. We've sourced all of this food from local farmers. So even with an emphasis on really supporting farmers of color, immigrant farmers, really small farmers, making sure that we can use our buying power to buy from them to help their businesses. They rely on donations and they rely on volunteers. Honestly, we are down in volunteers right now and I'm hearing that from partners across the board. It's a hard time. They need extra help packing food and going around to farms and harvesting leftover produce. Families are welcome. My pal Steve. Oh. <laughs> when you can either donate money or time, it's really a concrete way of having an impact on someone else. And Joyce will continue to do just that. All of the clients that come in, I know so many of them by heart now. And here, they use their hearts and hands to feed the need. And I think it's a really a, a, a solvable thing, right? We can come together and make a difference. In New Hope, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. You can learn more about how to help or take XL's Good Energy Pledge to volunteer, and you can do all of that at WCCO.com slash day of service.